Hey there everyone, I recently got these TAC H2O Aqua Tabs, they're Aqua Tab Refill, the 100 Aqua Tabs, and I wanted to do a kind of an unbox, uh, unpackaging review and also a comparison to the Aqua Mirror Tabs uh, as far as price and quality and all of that. Um, and I also want to, at the end, I'm going to go ahead and do a video to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple, uh, but I have had a, a couple questions about how they actually work. Hopefully this will explain the different types, even the liquids and all that. And I also found an article from American Preppers Network that, that really goes through detail, so I'll put that below this video too in case I forget anything. Uh, but first off, the Aqua Tabs, when, when I first got them, uh, they're, they're, they're in a really durable pouch, uh, com especially compared to the Aqua Mira. Um, they're, they're black and they have the mylar in the inside to kind of really block out as much light as possible and that, that extends their or keeps their shelf life what they should be. The Aquamira, uh, same thing, it's got the mylar but it's just a thinner package. The expiration dates on these, these state that it's good until uh, 421, so about four years on these. Uh, this one on the package it says 420. Um, I'm assuming they're about the same though. Maybe this sat in the warehouse for a little while before it actually got sent out to me. Uh, whereas these are nice and new, uh, which is good if you buy these right now. You know that they're going to be the expiration dates are going to be uh, four years. Uh, also comes with the instructions in here how to use them, and so all in all the packaging is really nice. They're, they, it comes with the hundred compared to the twenty on the Aquamira. Now the price difference, uh, these TAC H2O tabs are $16 for 100 of them, whereas the Aquamira is about 10 bucks for 20 of them. Uh, another difference is the Aquamira tabs, these treat one liter of water, that's why I've got this right here, and the TAC H2O one tablet treats five liters of water, so quite a bit more. Now there are differences, so keep watching and you'll, you'll kind of understand uh, what, you know, what's better, what's not. But, um, Aqua tabs, I think, are more for you know larger amounts of water, where the Aqua Mira maybe for you know maybe better for bugging out stuff like that, where you're not going to want to fill a whole gallon, a uh, couple of gallons, anything like that. So, um, but the, the price, like I said, so that's like 20 liters. You get 20 tablets, so that's 20 liters uh, for 10 bucks. Whereas these, you get 100 tablets for 16 dollars, and that's 500 liters that it will purify. Now, there is a difference, like I said, because this will not get everything. This is not, the aqua tabs are not effective against cryptosporidium. Uh, so what you might need to do if you're doing that, you can do a large amount of water, but you might have to actually also filter that afterwards if you're worried about that. It depends on the water source, whether that's a concern or not. Uh, these aqua tabs are actually used by NATO, the World Health Organization, and a bunch of other uh, organizations around the world. So, um, and, and like I said, I assume that means they know what they're using it for and what they're trying to guard against. They're probably a little bit more scientific than I would be if I was out at a lake. Uh, I wouldn't know. That's why in a bug out bag, I might want to have these aqua mirror. Uh, in this, this chart, like I said, the article I found from the American Prepper Network, this chart explains the differences between Aquamira tablets, the iodine, and these aqua tabs. And you can see that Aquamira tabs are kind of the nuclear option. They, they basically get everything. Where the aqua tabs are, they're, they're good, but they're just not as good as the Aquamira tabs. So you, it's one of those you kind of get what you pay for. If you're worried about all of that stuff, you know, you might want to have these Aquamira tabs in your bug out bag, you know, better to be safe than sorry. But if you are maybe storing water at home, doing stuff like that, or have water that you store at home, and you know you don't have to worry about cryptosporidium, and cryptosporidium basically is animal feces, human feces that gets in contact with that water or any food source uh, that gets into your intestines and can, can wreak havoc. Uh, I don't believe it's deadly. I mean, I guess if you, you got enough in you, it could be, but uh, it really could. It, it could turn deadly because it'd give you diarrhea and all that stuff. But anyway, if you don't if you don't have to worry about um, anything like that, these these aqua tabs are a great option. You know, sometimes uh, you know there's a, a debate in the hiking community too whether you need to do it or not. It really depends on on the situation you're in. It is one of those better to be safe than sorry things though. So anyway, I kind of want to go through uh, real quick how to use these, and it's it's really simple. Uh, these are the the Part A and Part B, the liquid treatment that I got with my Legacy food storage boxes um, that you just kind of mix together. You let it sit for five minutes and then you pour it in. 
uh, and this is Aquamira as well. Uh, but on these these tablets, I'm not going to cut up my. On these tablets, what you do, we'll do the TAC H2O. And this is two liters. I don't have five liters. So what I'm going to do is take one of these and cut it in half. And they're kind of small, so it's kind of tough. And you take that half a tablet, throw it in there, and it, it'll fizz and, and fall apart. And I've even read that, you know, like the, the dust and all that, you can still use that too. If it's really dirty water, you would want to take one of these tablets for two liters like that and, and really uh, make sure it's clean. Now, the Aquamira tablets, you don't have to cut them. You just take one out. And it's a, it's a bigger tablet. And then you throw that in your water. Now, the directions for, for Aquamira is to wait about four hours. Uh, the, the Aqua tabs, you wait about 30 minutes. Uh, and that is because the you if you only wait 30 minutes for the Aquamira, you're not killing that Cryptosporidium. So you, you would want to wait up to four hours. You could wait 30 minutes, but you're not going to get that full spectrum. Uh, and with these, the reason it's only 30 minutes is because it doesn't it doesn't kill that Cryptosporidium. Also, to, what to remember with these two is that the the colder the water is, the longer it's going to take. So. While the Aquamira say, or the Aqua, Aqua tabs say that it only takes 30 minutes and it doesn't give a specification, cold, warm, whatever, uh, I would still probably wait, you know, just to be sure, maybe a little bit longer, maybe an hour or so. Uh, but the, the Aquamira, I would definitely wait, uh, make sure that it's killing all of that stuff, especially if it's colder, you would want to wait up to that, that four hours, which can be, in a, you know, in a bug out situation, can be... Um, something you, you really don't want to do, uh, wait that four hours, and something you might not be able to do. So, uh, always a good idea to have a filter with you anyway. And like I said, with the, the TAC H2O, you might want to, uh, it's, it's really a, you know, up to you, you might want to filter it afterwards anyway. Uh, but that's it. Um, I will kind of taste, I'll let these sit here for a little while, and then I'll do a taste test, and, and we'll see, see if they actually do have a tainted taste or not. I've also read that if they do, especially with iodine, because iodine will give a flavor, you can put some vitamin C tablets in there, or a vitamin C tablet in there, or even maybe a tea bag, something to flavor it to, to kind of dilute that, that flavor a little bit. But uh, yeah, we'll wait for these to sit for a few minutes, and then we'll, we'll come back and do a little bit of a taste test and see, see what they taste like. All right, so I've let these sit for about an hour. I didn't wait the, the full four hours because this is our well water, so... I'm not worried about the cryptosporidium or anything, but I do want to taste it real quick and just to see what kind of, of flavor it's got, if it taints the water at all. Uh, this is the Aquamira. And it does, it's real mild, but it does have that, that kind of pool water taste, I suppose. Uh, this is the Aqua Tabs, the TAC H2O. And that really, it, maybe a little bit, or maybe that's still a flavor in my mouth, but it actually tastes better than the Aquamira. Um, not much flavor at all. But, you know, honestly, either one of them, not, not a huge deal. Uh, it, it's almost that reassurance that you're drinking clean water. Uh, like I said, you could, you could flavor it. Maybe put some vitamin, a vitamin C tablet in there, get rid of that flavor. Uh, some meal, we use meal quite a bit. Uh, tea bags, anything like that to kind of mask that flavor. It's not real strong anyway, so it wouldn't take very much to mask it. But um, that's that's it on these. Like I said, it, it neither one is better than the other. If you want to go the nuclear option, the Aquamira tabs are you know probably the way to go. These are what I keep in my bug out bag because it's one of those I don't know what's in it, so it's better to be safe than sorry. But if you're doing stuff around the house, you know where the water's coming from. It's coming from a well or something like that. You're just not sure. It's not contaminated with feces or anything like that, or you're pretty sure it's not. Um, Attack H2O, these aqua tabs are a great source. They're, they're way cheaper. You know, when you're talking about maybe 50, 100 gallons, something like that, they're a whole lot cheaper than the Aquamira. That would be pretty expensive trying to fill, or trying to clean that much water. Uh, but, you know, maybe have a little bit of both. For the price of these, 
really not a bad idea just to pick some up have a hundred of them in there that's 500 gallons of water that you could treat with these uh, and also have some aqua mirror in your bug out bags and stuff like that so uh, like i said both shelf lives are about the same and everything so anyway uh, if you haven't subscribed make sure and subscribe below and we'll talk to everybody later